फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट पीपल इन रूरल एरियाज फाइंड दैट देयर आर नो हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल टू देम एंड देयर चिल्ड्रन मे डाई ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ इट इन ऑर्डर टू हैव सिक्योरिटी बोथ इन टर्म्स ऑफ चाइल्ड सर्वाइवल एंड ओल्ड एज स्पोर्ट दे गो फॉर एटलीस्ट थ्री और फोर चिल्ड्रन द बेटर ऑफ इन द सोसाइटी हावेवर कैन टेक ग्रेटर केयर ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज ऑफ बींग श्योर ऑफ गेटिंग ऑल द मेडिकल केयर दैट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कैन प्रोवाइड दैम इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड इन द नेम हेल्थ केयर बींग द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द सोसाइटी और द स्टेट वी आर एक्चुअली लिविंग पुअर रूरल फोक्स टू देयर ओन फेट we should not forget that we have given them freedom to live as they like it is a nation where we have given right to every individual whether literate or illiterate poor or rich that he will not only decide about himself but he will also decide the course of history for all of us if more than 50% of population is below poverty line if more than 50% people are illiterate in this country what is going to happen what will be the psychological impact of this section of the society on others and the leadership the other related question for human capital build up is the nature and quality of the educational system we need to question ourselves as to how far we have been able to improve and reform the educational system which was handed over to us by the british in spite of a large number of studies reports of committees and high power commissions and their recommendations the educational system in the country in essence continues to be the same as it was during the colonial phase of indian history we have yet not reformed the system to be the one which could promote professional competence or help the youth to think independently and that too in terms of immediate community and national interest the educational system needs to be thought of in a different manner than what has been the case so far spread of education is closely associated with population control this has been amply demonstrated in kerala which has the highest literacy rate and the lowest rate of population growth the opposite is true of states like madhya pradesh and rajasthan where literacy rate is not high education particularly among the women increases the effectiveness of population control programs to build human capital of excellence has therefore to be the primary concern of a purposeful population policy education of women is particularly important and this aspect of education is lacking in our country if women are educated they can take better care of their children and play a great role in making them healthy useful and intelligent citizens i shall like to emphasize that we should arrange to provide to every child whether a boy or a girl a free and compulsory education 
up to the age of 14 years as an urgent national endeavor as given in the directive principles of the constitution providing education and health care to all children means that they grow into a healthy young man or young woman who would expect productive jobs in order to lead a life of dignity. Here comes the problem of employment. With the advancement of technology and the associated luxury and comfort that people are enjoying in many parts of the world, we are also aspiring to have the same facilities in our lives. But I know that all the indigenous methods that were providing jobs to millions of our people, though are not enough to provide a comfortable life, can at least give them sustenance. This employment to millions is being threatened by technology. Since survival is the basic instinct of human beings, people are not bothered about what will be the future of India or whether they will have the comforts and benefits of technology. They are simply interested in survival. As long as a large section of population is just struggling for survival, we cannot pull out from them the indigenous employment facilities that gave them sustenance. Unless we think afresh about education, employment and health services in the changing climate, I do not think we shall be able to make a great impact on population front. Our population policy therefore must relate to the question of employment. How best to exploit the human capital remains a critical question. A balance between needs of technological advancement on the one hand and one aspect. The other aspect that arises is this. Honorable member has suggested a parliamentary committee to go into the constitutionality of the statutes the parliament passes. This is a very controversial provision for this reason that we have got a quasi-federal structure. We have got the Council of States. We represent the states. The states have certain rights which are under the law. Stop.